Hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Today is a very special day because I've been sent a present by my Auntie Betty. Now, where is it? Hey, can you see where it is? What, over here? It's not there. Where? What, over here? Oh, it's not there either. Oh, now where can it be? <laughs> Fooled you! Oh, <laughs> very funny, small. <laughs> Hello! Right, let's see what Auntie Betty sent. Open up the box. Here we are. Lift off the lid. Oh, look! Auntie Betty sent me a woolly jumper. Oh. Hey! It's made out of wool. And wool comes from sheep. Bah! <laughs> See it on, shall we? Oh, yes. It must have taken ages for Auntie Betty to knit that. Hoo-hoo! It's lovely! Hey! Now, where's a mirror so I can see it on? Um. Oh, the cooker. Oh, that looks great on you, Ben. Oh, no. I can't see anything in there. Where's that mirror? <laughs> Oh, it was here somewhere. No, not in there. Where could it be, Small? Ben! Oh, Ben! I'm sure I've left it somewhere. What about round here? It's Auntie Betty's jumper. It's... 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 Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, no! Oh, dear, oh, it's all unravelling, Small. Oh, poor Auntie Betty. What am I going to do? Oh. Oh, we've got a customer, Small. You better go and see who it is, and I'll try and sort this jumper out. What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer, Small? I'll give you a clue. It's someone who's lost something. Well, lots of things, actually. Things that go... Bah! Hee hee! Sheep! Someone who's lost her sheep. And that person is Little Bo Peep. Really? Little Bo Peep's come to our cafe? Oh, yes! I bet she's hungry, though, Small. So what are we going to cook for Little Bo Peep who's lost her sheep? I think it's time to look at my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, Little Bo Peep was sitting alone knitting. Hello, Little Bo Peep, I said. What are you knitting? Oh, said Little Bo Peep sadly. I'm just knitting. You see... I'm feeling very, very sad because I've lost all my sheep. Why don't we try calling your sheep, I said. Maybe they'll come back if you call them. Oh, I've tried that, <laughs> sniffed little Bo Peep. Listen, come back, come back sheep, come back. Oh, it was the loudest shouting I had ever heard. It made me cover my ears. No wonder the sheep weren't coming back. Little Bo Peep, I said. I think I've got a better idea. Maybe your sheep don't like shouting, I said. Maybe they like singing. Oh, yes, said Little Bo Peep. And so I played the guitar. And Little Bo Peep sang along. Sheep, 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 sheep. It was an awful racket. I had another think, and then I said, Why don't we try this? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She doesn't know where to find them. Sing them a song, they'll come along, wagging their tails behind them. And the sheep came back. They liked the song Little Bo Peep and I were singing so much that they were back in no time. Little Cook to the rescue once again. 
That was a great adventure. You're right, Small, but we still don't know what to make for Bo Peep to eat. Way! Time for some serious thinking, Ben. That's right. What does someone who's lost their sheep want for a tasty snack? I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book does recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Yes, here it is. The very thing for Little Bo Peep. A potato sheep. We turn a potato into a sheep. What a clever idea. Come on then, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need olives. OK, in the cupboard. Here we are. Olives. Got them, Small. A baking potato. Oh, in the fridge. One potato. Got it. Cheese. Oh, yes. Lovely cheese. Oh. And thick yoghurt. 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 Oh, don't seem to have any of that. Right. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from the yoghurt. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some. Woohoo! Righto, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a lovely day! These sheep are in a hurry. What are they up to? The farmer is attaching some pipes to the sheep so they can be milked. That's the sheep's milk. Mmm, delicious. This milk is going to be used to make yoghurt. First of all, the milk has to be heated up and stirred in this machine. Then it has to be cooled down again. Before the yoghurt can be eaten, it has to be poured into pots and left in the fridge for a while. A pot of delicious yoghurt made from sheep's milk. Better get back to the cafe. Bye! <laughs> Way! I'm back! Did you get the yoghurt? I certainly did! <whistles> wow! <laughs> it was brilliant, Ben! I saw how sheep's yoghurt is made. And I even met a few sheep as well. <laughs> <laughs> Any sign of little Bo Peep sheep? Nope. Still lost. We'd better make her a tasty snack to cheer her up. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Bo Peep Sheep? You do? 
There were olives, two chopped up, a baking potato, one cheese, one cup grated, and thick yogurt, three teaspoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing to do is put the potato onto a grease baking tray. There we are. And then I'm going to prick it with a fork. There we go. And again, turn it over. And one there. And another one there. This will help it to cook. And then let's put it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. Over we go. Just leave that there. Open the oven. And in it goes. Great. And I'm going to set the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, gas mark 8. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Keep it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll set the timer. There we go. 45. <laughs> Ready! Take out the potato. Great! Let's turn it into a sheep. Not yet, Small. We've got to let it cool down first. Just enough so we can touch it with our fingers without getting burnt. OK, OK. We won't turn it into a sheep yet. We'll wait. Sheep? Wool? Oh, jumpers. What am I going to do about my jumper, Small? What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? Oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, Ben. We'll sort it out later. Has the potato cooled yet? Let's see. Yes, it has, Small. It's cool enough to touch. Hooray! Now let's turn it into a sheep. I've cut the potato in half. There we are. And I'm going to scoop out the fluffy potato. Nice and soft. Careful. Out it comes. Pop it into a bowl. There we are. Hee-hee! <laughs> it's fluffy, just like a fluffy sheep. <laughs> yes, it is small. So, all the potato into the bowl. And I'm going to add some of the grated cheese. In it goes. A little bit more. There we go. I've put in most of it there. And finally, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the yoghurt. One and two. And then mix it all up together. Ben, what happened to the rest of the potato? The brown crispy bits on the outside? The potato skins? They're here small. They're very important, those bits, aren't they, Ben? Yes, they are. Because I'm now going to spoon the fluffy, yogurty, cheesy mixture back into the potato skins. So, spoonful into this one. A little bit more. There we go. Fill it up. And then to do the other one. In it goes. Back in the skin. In you go. And I think one more little spoonful. Pop that there. And finally, I'm going to add the rest of the grated cheese. Sprinkle it over. Oh, yes, very nice. And now it's time to put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Yes, it is small. So, oven gloves out. Pop the potatoes onto a baking tray. And take them back over to the oven. Here we are. Pop them there. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer. For 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, all done. And all lovely and golden. It doesn't look that much like a sheep, but that's what we do next. So... I'm going to pop this potato onto a plate. There we go. And now I'm going to take one more blob of yoghurt and pop it on. 
There we are. This is going to be the sheep's face. Remember the olives? Well, here's where you find out what we do with them. They're going to be used for the sheep's eyes. Hey, <laughs> one there and another one there. Let's give her some ears as well. There we go. Pop another one round here. And not to forget the sheep's legs at the bottom. There we go, two there. And another two up the front. Oh, she looks great. Ha! <laughs> you mean bah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to finish her off with a few sprigs of parsley. There. Let's get it off to little Bo Peep. One Bo Peep sheep coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, and it looks like Bo Peeps enjoyed her potato sheep. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Oh, it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my Bo Peep sheep. It was delicious. <laughs> Here's two presents for you both to say thank you. Big Cook and Little Cook. Oh, what could it be? Oh, look, Small. It's another woolly jumper. And it's just like the one that Auntie Betty gave me. Now you won't have to tell her about what happened to the first one. Hooray! <laughs> oh. oh, and look, Small. There's something else in here for you. A little Bo Peep hat just for me. <laughs> here you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> what do you think? Hoo hoo! Ha ha! Oh, don't you mean? Bah! <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! Bye! Bye! bye. bye. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Oh. Oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! I've just been cutting the grass. But it's going to take forever because the lawnmower's broken and I can't find Small. Have you seen him? Small? Small? Hey, why don't you shout with me? One, two, three, Small! Oh, I can't find Small. I think he's lost. Oh, Ooh. oh hello, Ben. What's the matter? Oh, there you are. I was worried. Whatever are you doing? Oh, I'm just having a bit of a rest after all that grass cutting. All that grass cutting? Oh, yes. Look. One blade of grass. Is that all you've done? One blade of grass? Well, it might be one blade of grass to you, my friend, but to me it's like a tree. We'll have a lawn up to our ears in no time at this rate. Well, maybe you shouldn't have broken the lawnmower. Well, I didn't break the lawnmower. It just... Got all oh, that's all small. <coughs> Aha! Come on, customer small. I'm on my way. <laughs> and who's our customer today, small? You'll never guess. It's old McDonald. Old MacDonald? 
You know Ben, the farmer from the farm down the road. He keeps chickens and pigs and the most beautiful brown horse ever. Well, we'd better make something a bit special for him then. Yes. But what? Something to do with animals. Moo! <laughs> Can you guess which animal I am? A cow! Shh, small, I'm trying to think. Moo! Oink, oink. What on earth are you doing, small? I'm making farm animal noises, Ben. Farms are full of animals. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was going for a walk when I heard a lot of noise. It was a farmyard full of howling animals. They were neighing and mooing and barring and barking and grunting and meowing. It was the most dreadful noise I had ever heard. I just had to go and find out what the problem was. The horse told me that everyone on the farm was really, really hungry because the farmer hadn't fed them that morning. Not all the animals were there though. The chickens were missing. So I went to see if I could find them. But did I get a big surprise when I got to the chicken coop? All the hens were busy clucking and fussing round the cockerel. The poor cockerel was lying in bed looking really ill. He'd lost his voice. All he could say was, Urgh, 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 urgh. Instead of, cock -a -doo -doo. How terrible! A cockerel without a cock -a -doo -doo. I soon realised what the problem was. The farmer and his wife were still fast asleep. No wonder the farmer hadn't woken up. You see, it's the cockerel's job to wake the farmer up. Every day, at dawn, the cockerel stands on top of the chicken house and sings his wake-up call as loud as he can. cock a doo doo cock a doo doo Then the farmer wakes up and knows it's time to feed all the animals. But because the cockerel had lost his voice, the farmer hadn't woken up. That's when I did my famous cockerel impression. cock a doo cock a doo That soon woke them up. At last the animals would be fed. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! cock a doodle doo <laughs> Way! I'm back, Ben! There we go. The farmer and his wife rushed out of bed, and soon they'd fed all the animals. I bet you know exactly what to cook for old MacDonald, then. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Let's see. It can't be that difficult. Oh, I know something that might help us. It's a song about our customer, old MacDonald. That's sure to help us. Will you join in? Goody, I know this one, too. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O and on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here a oink, there a oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Oh, I love that song, Ben. Me too. There are so many things that come from a farm, aren't there? Yeah, but we have to think of something for Old MacDonald in our cafe. But what? <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Aha! Uh -huh. Look! 
the perfect thing. Farmyard smoothies. Mmm, milky drinks that look like animals. Whoopee! Hooray! You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need a banana. OK. Banana, honey. That's honey, not bunny, Ben. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Honey, yoghurt, and most important of all, milk. Yoghurt and, um, oh. Are we out of milk? I'm afraid so. Oh, well, that scrambled our plans. What are we going to do now, Small? We can't make smoothies without milk. Not to worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, Small, you're the poppin' popcorn, and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Look at the lovely green grass and, oh, what's that? Something's eating the grass. It's a cow. There's lots of black and white cows. Moo! 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 <laughs> Here comes the farmer on his tractor. He's rounding up the cows because twice a day they have to be milked. Ah, moo to you too! This is the milking parlour. Come on, in you go! The farmer attaches suction pipes to the cow's udders. The milk is taken from the cow. all that milk. The milk then goes to a factory where it's heated and cooled and put into cartons. At home we keep milk in the fridge so it stays fresh. Milk is tasty and very good for you. I like to drink milk too, or have it on my cereal at breakfast. I'd better get some milk back to the cafe. See you later! There we are, all set and ready to go. 
All we need now is the milk. Way! I'm back, Ben. I've brought the milk fresh from the farm. Woohoo! Oh, nice and creamy. Lovely. We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember what we need for farmyard smoothies? You do? There was a banana, one sliced, honey, one teaspoon, yogurt, one tablespoon, and last of all, milk, one cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now mash up the banana with a fork. In it goes. There we are. Oh, mash it up. Mash, 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 mash. I like this bit. Oh, there we go. Now we're making a drink to remind old MacDonald of his farm. It's a yellow chip drink. There we go. Now we also need to make a paper head and tail for the drink. And my little chum here can take care of that. Okie dokie! <laughs> What noises do chicks make? I know. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> OK. Now, to our mashed banana, we add our yoghurt. In it goes. Lovely. Our honey. There we are. Make it nice and sweet. All that in. And then finally, we put in the milk. And then mix it all together to make a lovely, thick banana drink. Mm, mix it up, mix it up. We just finished popping the rest into a glass. Oh, very nice. Doesn't that look good? Our drink's just about ready for Small's head and tail decoration. Small, how's this chick's face coming along? That's the face done. Now for the tail. Oh, yes, the tail. <laughs> How is the tail? Cluck, 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 cluck. I've finished and I've stuck some tape on the back. Cluck, 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 cluck. Thank you, Small. On we go. Now I just need a straw, please, Small. Here you go, Ben. Oh, thank you. And there we are. One lovely chick drink. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now, if you want to make a pink piggy smoothie, oink, 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 all you have to do is add strawberries instead of bananas. Come on, Ben. We'd better get that chick drink off to old MacDonald. It looks so good. Righto. One farmyard smoothie coming through. Oh, there. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits.
bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town comes the plate. And what's this? Oh, McDonald's left us a note, Small. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the best smoothie I've ever tasted. And what brilliant heads and tails. <laughs> Just like being back on the farm. He likes it. He really likes it. And there's something else, Small. Well, what? It says, I've heard you were having problems with your lawnmower, so as a little thank you, I've left you something to cut the grass for you. Something to cut the grass? <gasps> a lawnmower? <laughs> oh, my small. Oh, McDonald's left us a note and a goat. A goat? Look at this, small. Her name's Alice, and she'll have your lawn looking lovely in no time. Well, mash my potatoes. If that doesn't beat everything, our very own goat. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. <laughs> hey, hey, giddy up, boy, giddy up. Here we go. <laughs> gallopy, gallopy, gallopy. <laughs> Bam! OK, now Bam! ready? Over the jump we go. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Whee! Oh, gallopy, 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 woo! <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. <laughs> the best cafe in the world. <laughs> Will you help me call out to Ben? OK, then. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> ben! Oh, 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 dear. Are you all right, Ben? Oh, 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 oh. hello, everyone. Oh, I'm fine, Small. But look what's happened. Oh, this was my favourite horsey. I'm sorry, Ben, but it's a broom, not a horse. <laughs> oh, it's not just a broom, Small. You can use a broom as all sorts of things. And this was the perfect shape for a horsey. <coughs> We've got a customer. A customer should take your mind off your broken broom, Ben. Hey. <laughs> and cheer you up. Woohoo! I'm on my way. Woohoo! Who is it, Small? Who's come to our cafe today? Oh, you'll never guess, Ben. Oh, I might, if you give me a clue. Well, she's beautiful, and she's a princess now, but she never used to be a princess, and she once wore a glass slipper to a ball. Do you know who once wore a glass slipper to a ball? Is it Cinderella? Yes, it's Cinderella, Ben. I wonder what Cinderella would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. As you probably know, Cinderella lived with her two ugly sisters, who were very unkind to her. One day, the ugly sisters were invited to the prince's ball. Cinderella so wanted to go, but they shouted, No! You must stay in the kitchen and sweep! I was passing by the house, and I heard her crying, so I went in. Oh, Cinders, whatever's the matter? I asked. My sisters have gone to the ball, but here I am, all alone with my broom, just sweeping. She banged her broom down on the floor, and suddenly there was a puff of smoke. Cinderella's fairy godmother stood before us and said, I am your fairy godmother. You will go to the ball. I will turn your rags into a beautiful gown. I will turn the pumpkin into a glittering coach. The two white mice into two white horses the brown rat into a handsome coachman. And do you know what? She waved her wand 
And the spell worked. Apart from one thing. The brown rat had not turned into a handsome coachman. He was definitely still a big brown rat. Oh no! cried Cinderella. I have my gown. I have my coach. I have my horses. But who will drive me to the ball? That's when I had an idea. I climbed aboard the coach, grabbed hold of the horse's reins and shouted, Giddy up! And off we went! Cinderella danced and danced with the handsome prince and, as we all know, at midnight she had to run home before the spell was broken. The prince had to find her. The only clue was the glass slipper she had left behind. When he found her, he asked for her hand in marriage. And Cinderella lived happily ever after. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Oh! So that's how Cinderella became a princess! Hey! Yes, Ben! Lots of people know that story, but not many people know that it was me who drove her to the ball! Ho oh, ho! In a pumpkin too! A pumpkin that turned into a coach! Oh, I would have loved to have ridden one of the horses that drove the pumpkin coach! Ho oh, ho! Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh, deary me! I forgot that it had broken! Don't worry about your broom, Ben. We need to work out what we're going to cook for Cinderella. Right, what to cook? Hmm. Oh, we can cook. Oh. I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Hey, hey, I don't believe it. Pumpkin pie, the perfect thing. That'll remind Cinderella of the pumpkin coach which you drove to the ball small. Brilliant. And perhaps it will remind her of the rather handsome coachman too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, small. No time to lose. Let's get going. OK, let's see. We're going to need brown sugar. OK. Over to the cupboard. Straight open. Brown sugar, got it. A pastry case. Pastry case, one pastry case. Got that too small. Treacle. Treacle, oh yes, lovely and sticky, treacle. Eggs. Eggs over in the fridge. Open it. There we are, eggs. Double cream. Oh, double cream. There we go, double cream. And a pumpkin. One pumpkin. Here we are. A big, fresh pumpkin. Brilliant! There we are. Whew. Do you know what, Small? I've never cooked a pumpkin before. Haven't you? No. Look at this one. It's huge. <laughs> it's nearly the size of Cinderella's coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Small, have you ever wondered how pumpkins grow? No, I haven't. But I can soon find out. Great! You is off and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back before you can say Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. What a beautiful day! Well, Charlie, have you got the seeds? Yes, here they are. They're going to plant some seeds. They're pumpkin seeds. Seeds are planted in the soil. This is called sowing the seeds. Now the seeds have to be covered over. They're hidden. Now all we need to do is water them. I'll do that. Water is very important because it helps the seeds grow.
Cinderella had a pumpkin that turned into a beautiful carriage to take her to the ball. Wow, look at all these pumpkins. They've grown nice and big. I think I'll have that one. I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. Oh, it's no good. Oh, I still can't mend it. And where's Small? He said he'd be back by the time I could say Peter Potter popped a pimpkin. Oh, no, that's not right. Um, Pumper Potter popped a pipekin. Oh. Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey! I know all about pumpkins. They come from a seed that you grow. Ooh. And here's the really, really big secret. They need loads of water so they can grow really big. Oh, hey, Small. Do you think if I gave you loads and loads of water, you'd grow really big? <laughs> no, I'm small and small I'll stay. Hey, hey, then let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to pumpkin pie? You do. There was brown sugar, 100 grams, a pastry case, one, treacle, one tablespoon, eggs, two, double cream, one cup, and a pumpkin, a quarter, peeled and chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now you'll need to get your grown-up helper to do these first two jobs for you, because they're going to get hot, hot, hot. OK, turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. That's done. Now. I've already started to boil some pumpkin in a little water. Now we need to boil it for five minutes till it's nice and soft. I'll set the timer for five minutes. I've drained the pumpkin through a colander, so pour it into a bowl like that and over we go. Hey, 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 now next comes the fun part. Let's mash it up. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. That's right, Ben. Give it a good mash. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Hee <laughs> hee. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Oh. Coming along a treat. Now we're going to break two eggs into a bowl. One. And two. Brilliant. And let's give them a good old whisk. Now, I'm going to use a hand whisk, but you could use an electric whisk. Whee-hee! Around and around. Here we go. Whee-hee! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> oh, this is getting nice and frothy now. I'd better go and clean myself up. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, Small. Right, next. We put the treacle. In it goes, all sticky. There we are. The sugar. And the cream into a saucepan. In it goes. Turn on the heat. And we need to heat it until it simmers. This means it bubbles nice and gently. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this job for you because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. Okay, while we're waiting for it to simmer, I'm going to stir it. 
nice and gently. There we go, my lady, and away we go. Uh, giddy up, 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 giddy up. There we go. That's just the job. So, turn off the heat, and over we go. Right. Here we are. Now, this is another job for your grown-up helper to help you with. I'm going to very carefully pour the mixture into the whisked egg. In it goes. And then we can whisk it again. Round and round. Woohoo! Round and round it goes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Nearly there, my lady. Giddy up, giddy up. Oh no! Not again! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Now it's time to pour the mixture into the pumpkin. In it goes. Brilliant. And we give it one more stir with a wooden spoon. Round and round. Oh, yes. Nice and smooth. There we go. Now the next part is to pour the mixture into the pastry case. In it goes. That should be enough. And now it's just about ready to go in the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. Here we are. Open the door and we can pop it into the preheated oven for 35 minutes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Whoa there, horsey. I'll set the timer for 35 minutes. There we go. Delicious. Cooked and cooled. So I'm just going to add some icing sugar for decoration. There we go. Great. Pumpkin pie. Perfect for my lady. <laughs> well, let's see if Cinderella likes it then. Here we go. One pumpkin pie coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Cinderella enjoyed her pumpkin pie. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My pumpkin pie was scrummy! <laughs> it reminded me of my glittering coach and the handsome coachman who drove it. Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> And to say thank you, here's a little present for Ben. I don't need it anymore, because since I married the prince, I don't have to do any sweeping. It's by the back door. What is it, Ben? Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, small. It's a brand new broom. It's Cinderella's broom. Hey, hey. And we all know a broom isn't just for sweeping, don't we? That's right, Ben. <laughs> giddy up, horsey, giddy up. Good boy. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Giddy up, giddy, giddy up. up. Whoa, Whoa there, there, horsey. See, See you soon. You soon. Hey. Hey. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. 